Hello and welcome back everybody. In this episode we're going to be creating some sounds for the enemy. Um, I, I could record some sounds on my own or I could just get them from the asset store. The asset store is usually the way to go. Um, so let's go into audio, sound effects, and sort by price. Maybe we want creatures. Sorting by price again. There's not too many free options. We've just got little critter sound effects and mangled screams. Probably don't want mangled screams. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but that was, that was kind of weird. Let's go, go to animals, price, hmm, I know I've seen some really great ones on here before, audio, let's try other, okay, so starting from scratch, just search roar, price, monster sounds, I'm going to middle click to open that in a separate tab. And these are all paid down here. So, yeah, this seems like our best bet. Perfect. Go ahead and download that. Import. I'm going to drag that into my imported folder. Monster sounds. So we have goblin, griffin, and undead. So I'm just going to stick with the goblin ones. They seem like the most traditional noises. Okay, so to do that, um, the first thing I want to do is add an audio source to this. Audio, and then click on audio source. And we're going to create a separate clip, or I mean, sorry, a, se a separate script in our AI folder called... Um, Axon sounds, or we'll call it Axon audio. All right, and we're, we're going to take, um, we're going to make a reference to the clips that we want to use. Um, public audio clip. Let's call this spawn sound spawn sound like that and then public audio clip death sound and then public audio clip attack sound singular now if we go back and put that script on axon like that. Now you can see we have fields for the different sounds. And we can choose any of these. Um, I'm going to use that for the attack. Uh, And actually, instead of doing a spawn sound, I'll, I'll do a take damage sound. Now 
now. We, we don't have to do anything. Oh, actually, yeah, we also need a reference to the audio source. So public audio source, audio source. So now we have a variable called audio source of type audio source. And when the game starts, we're just going to get a reference to that component. Like that. And now later we can use that to play sounds. Like you could do audio source dot play. Uh, I, I use the play one shot method. And then you, you just pass in the name of the clip. So you could pass in take damage. Like that. Um, so void. Let's create a new method called take damage. And then put that back in. So so whenever whenever this method is called, we're gonna play the take damage noise, and then we can just duplicate that for attacking and dying. So die, play one shot sound, death sound, and then we need an attack sound. So we'll just say attack. And that should get attack sound. Okay, so now whenever we call one of these methods, it's going to play the, the corresponding sound. We can get rid of the update method, we don't need that. And I'm just going to call these with a broadcast method, like I showed you before. Um, broadcasting, it, it lets any component call a method on a different component um, in a pretty straightforward way. So when do we want to call the attack sound? That would be in axon movement in the attack function. So right here when we start attacking, um, we can we can just broadcast attack. And that's gonna call this method. And now we can do the same thing for taking damage. Let's go ahead and make sure uh, die. oh yeah and, and then dying should work too we're already we are already um, broadcasting the message die <clears throat> so uh, th that should be taken care of there one thing I just realized here is that it's gonna call that um, it well yeah it, even after the character dies uh, it's going to keep calling this. If Like, we could shoot the dead body, and it's going to keep affecting the health. So let's just make sure... Um, let's, let's not call this damage method if they don't have any health left to damage. So if health is greater than zero, damage. And, and so that way, we're not going to call this method when we're sh shooting the dead body, and it's not going to keep playing the dying sound. So now attack and die should be taken care of. So let's make sure that works. Oh, I think it just froze. Did it freeze? All right, so I just got this thing called a stack overflow exception. So what happened there is I called a method and then it, it called the method that called itself. And so we're getting this um, continuous loop of method calls, and then it just sort of explodes. Uh, so I, I need to find where that happened. <laughs> All right, so that, that seems um, a little bit too obvious. Uh, that I mean, that was a really stupid mistake. I, I have my attack method, and I'm calling broadcast message attack, which calls the attack method on every component on this game object. So obviously it's going to go to Axon Audio and call this method, but it's also calling this method, which is again broadcasting and then calling this. So that explains the stack overflow exception. So to fix that we can just say broadcast message play attack audio. And then rename this one like that. So now leave play mode, hit play, Oh, well, I killed him. 
Um, after killing him, the death audio was not played, which is concerning. So health, if health is less than one, broadcast message die. Void die. Maybe it has to be public. So let's go ahead and make sure these are public. That should make them accessible to other classes. And once again, it froze with a Stack Overflow exception. Um, you can see an error message. Uh, it happened in axon movement dot attack. Okay, so I think what happened there is that it hasn't compiled my new script yet. So let's just give it a second to compile. Okay, now it should be fine. Okay. Well, that's a crazy noise. Um, it, <laughs> again, I, I don't know if you can hear the audio coming through my computer, but it's it's playing this like every single frame, so it's just like uh, to fix that, we can just put a delay in there. Um, I just want to make sure that uh, how do I want to do this? I think the easiest way to do it would just be with a, like a timer or just we can just check the audio source if audio source dot is playing yeah there we go nice and easy uh, if if there's no audio being played play the new audio and we'll just do the same thing for all of these And for this one, um, we we really want it to make a dying sound. If it is playing, if if there is audio playing, um, we're we're gonna skip past this, and we're just gonna wait, and we're gonna try again. So to try again, we're gonna use invoke, and we're gonna invoke the mes the method called die after 0.2 seconds. And so that way, th this one is gonna keep trying. Um, the attack sound. Uh, if there's something else playing, just ignore it. And then for take damage, same thing. Okay, so he died, but no sound came out. Okay, so the smashing sound works. Um, the death, the death sound still doesn't work. So let's look into that. Um, so in the health, we're we're definitely broadcasting this message. Because um, it's being it's being picked up here. We're, we're calling dying, and then he's actually doing the animation. But it's not being heard here. Or, I mean, it's it's not being heard here for some reason. Let's go ahead and print uh, just some nonsense. So that, that'll help us determine, um, if we see this in the console, we know we at least made it to this method. Okay, so we made it to the method, but it didn't play any audio. So maybe there's something wrong with the audio clip. Uh, or there was in fact something playing, so we ignored it. Uh, let's check out the the death sound audio clip. 
And there's nothing there. Oh. Well, that explains it. So we can use Goblin Die 1. Death Sound. And we need some sort of Pain Sound. I'm going to use this one. All right, so that worked. And I'm actually just going to ignore this, because it, cause it, it, he's probably, he's either going to be roaring doing an attack, or he's roaring because he took damage, or he roars because he dies. Um, so no matter what, he's roaring when he dies, so I, I don't need to do that invoke thing. Okay, we killed him. It doesn't seem like the the pain audio was being played. So so I'm going to look into that now. So, first of all, I need him to take more bullets in the face. So, let's make each bullet worth 2 points of damage. Save that. And I'm shooting him, and he's he's definitely taking damage, but he's not playing any audio. So, enemy health, take damage. Oh yeah, I haven't actually broadcast any damage method yet. Um, so, we're going to call this take damage method, using a broadcast. But we don't want, we don't want to like completely spam it with, with that sound. If he's getting hit, um, you know, if he's getting hit like 20 times a second, we don't want a massive amount of sound going through. And it, it, the sounds aren't going to play over each other. Like, it, it's going to wait for the last sound to finish. Um, but, e but even then, uh, we don't want... Like, we don't want one sound to end and then another one to start right away. So we're just going to try to limit this a little bit. So let's say... Um, let's just let's just generate a random number in a range of one to one hundred, and then if that number ends up being more than ninety, we'll play the we'll play a damage sound. So int random equals random dot range. 0 to 100. If random is greater than, let's say 95, take damage. And so that way, most of the time, we won't try to play a sound. Um, but a but after, the, after the enemy takes enough damage, eventually a sound is going to play. I think that worked out pretty well. It, it played about four sounds. I'm getting a phone call, so I have to pause the video. Alright, so now we have um, movement taken care of. The enemy can take damage. It plays sound occasionally when it's taking damage. And it plays sound when it's attacking and when it dies. So I think that pretty much wraps up our enemy. Oh, actually, um, the, the taking damage was kind of... Uh, it plays the, oh my god, I'm getting another phone call. Alright, so, um, let's say we want to add some diversity to the sound effects that it makes, because it, it keeps making the same, the same sound as it's taking damage. So, let's just mix it up a little bit. If the random number is within the range of 90, uh, if, if it's greater than 90, and, uh, less than 95, then we'll do take damage 2. And then we can have a different method for that. Take damage 2. Like that. And we'll just create another variable. Audio clip take damage 2. Like that. And we can drop in one of these other sounds. Uh, like that.
Uh, it kind of seemed like it was making the same sound every time, so I'm going to double check this. If it's greater than 95, it plays this one. If it's less than 95 and above 90, it plays this one. Take damage 2 goes here. Take damage 2. All right. So that should that should work. All right, so I confirmed that it is playing both sounds. It seems like it's playing one more than the other, though. So I'm just going to make this, like, uh, the values 93 to 100 play this sound, and the values 80, 86 to 92. Actually, 80, that, that way they, they both have um, seven possible values. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, in the next video, we're gonna add we're gonna add some music to the game. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Bye.